I'm going to show you how to only use one instance of contact to send and receive multiple inputs and outputs from MIDI devices and audio tracks. So I'll open up contact. You'll notice I have three instruments loaded, a concert grand, um, a violin, and a drum kit. So now what I'm going to do is create three audio and MIDI tracks. I like to group them together. So let's say this one is, that one's the piano, that one is the violin, and this last one are the drums. So first, let's look at the outputs. Um, I'm going to change this output is routed to 1. This output is also routed to 1. I'm going to change that to 2. And this last one is, I um, guess I'm going to change it to the only one that's left. Uh, MIDI input, port A, this one's at 1. Port A, this one's at 2. Port A, this one's at 3. So now, if I go to the piano, MIDI, um, MIDI 2, contact, um, we had it on contact 1, MIDI contact, this is contact 2, MIDI contact, contact 3. Okay, now so for the violin, for the audio track, I'm going to set it to uh, audio from contact 5, um, channel 3 and 4. The drums, contact five, five and six. I think that didn't work last time. I'm going to put it on seven and eight. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see if all these work. Well, I got to put monitor in for those. Well, this just comes out the normal contact um, plug in. So that's working. Next violin. and then the drums. So you can have individual MIDI clips for each instrument and it'll all be coming out their, their own audio tracks. Um, another way to do this would be to just set the output all to channel one. So if I change this, these all to channel one it will allow me to just delete the audio tracks so I don't even have to worry about it. I can just have individual MIDI. If I do this, they'll all be routed at the same contact audio path instead of individually. Now, I like individually because it'll give me more control uh, for what I'm doing. But maybe you don't want it that way. Maybe you want to combine instruments and just have them in one contact. That's up to you to decide. I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment below.